I'll do a tough enough beer review for this one. We're off to, still in the Little Beer Festival. Um, Buy me Monday beer, I would imagine. I'm, I'm trying to get them all done. Uh, I'm recording this on Sunday, so I'm trying to get them all done. And they'll be... That'll probably be Monday, Tuesday at the latest. I'll try and get... And then we'll be back to normal. We'll get a Monday Cumbrian beer out. And it'll be back to normal. Mixing it up. So... Apologies if you're bored of little beers. I'm just getting, just gonna blitz the festival and then move on. So this one is a Sill um, Black IPA. It's gluten free. It's six point two percent in a three thirty mil can. Um, first chop are out of Salford. They are predominantly, I think, if not all of their beers are gluten free. I think m I've had four or five. I've never been blown away by them as a brewery. There is um, a video on the channel of a barley wine that I did buy them and that was not the best barley wine. In fact, I don't think it was really um, a good example of the style. But this is a black IPA and I do like a black IPA. So um, we'll see what we get. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it says there, certified gluten free as well so and it's it's all over it it's all over the can that it's gluten free so if you are um if you do have a gluten uh, allergy then they are a brewery to consider um so yes we will see what we get so yeah like i say i do like a black ipa I think it's a, it's a style which it's never really a lot of folk have gone crazy for but the ones I've had I really like and I just I, I really really would last year uh, back in 2019 there was a real I thought there was going to be a real comeback of the Black IPA and it kind of never came but yeah I do like them so that does have an orange hue at the bottom of the glass. It is predominantly black. Um, I can't see any carbonation going to the top. And I've got a beige head on it. Right, let's get the nose. I'm getting chocolate. I'm getting uh, toasty notes. Yeah, chocolate coffee. I'm not I'm not picking up any fruit. It smells more porter like at this point. Right, let's dive in. Cheers. That's not a black idea. That's a hobby porter. The it's yeah, we, we I've had these. We've had I've had a lot of discussions in recent times about whether it's black IPAs and hoppy bars. That's a hoppy bar. Um, I'm getting the chocolate. I'm getting the roasting malts. There is a subtle, subtle berry fruit note on the finish, uh, on the aftertaste. That's a hoppy. That's a that's more like. Part I like then black IPA for me. So you get coffee chocolate at the forefront, and then at the end you get the bitterness, and then you get and you're getting this um, fruit fruit notes, and they are so subtle. Like I say, this is a porter. Um, it's a decent beer. I'm happy with the beer. Um, I don't think it's a bad beer. I quite like it, and at one pound twenty nine, I think it's one of the cheapest in the festival. So, and I actually, so for the price, it's pretty damn good, um, and I would recommend it. But call it a porter. Don't call it a black IPA because it's not a black IPA. It's a porter. Um, so that's still. Um, I really like it. I shouldn't get. I always get pulled on um, 
if, if I think it's one type and it's not, and I always go, oh, it really annoyed me, and it does annoy me, it's, it's a pet hate of mine when, when beers are advertised as one thing and I think there's something else. Um, but if, if I forget the fact that it's classifying itself as a black IPA, if I think of it as a hop porter, then it's decent. So I would give this a whack. If you like your dark beers, give it a go. So it's only 129 in Riddle, that's Sill from First Chop Brewery. It's probably the best beer I've had from the brewery. Um, like I say, I, I found them a bit hit and miss, more miss than hit in the past. So I would say, yeah, this is maybe the best one that they've done. So well done, First Chop. Just don't call it a black IPA. So thank you for watching and on to the next one.